Hi everyone, this is Elier Games, and today I am watching episode 41 of Isekai Slime. Uh, yeah, let's just get started. Hopefully we finally get to see some fighting. <laughs> Oh, opening right away. All right, let's skip that. The eve of battle, so we're still not doing any battling. <laughs> I really do want to see what Demon Lord Rimuru can do. I wonder how how large the the kingdom of Rimuru's is going to get. by the end of this series. Oh, great. <laughs> you know, this is such an OP ability that, like, it's basically some sort of, like, magic researcher that never sleeps. <laughs> Typical. <laughs> well, it's a part of you, so might as well just say yourself, huh? Really need that wolf girl to join Rimuru's retainers. You know, she's part of the animal kingdom, but I can't tell what animal she's supposed to be. I'm glad he's actually resting in a much better place than usual.
A terrible suggestion as usual. Why don't we try to make her feel better? She doesn't deserve it. <laughs> yeah, I really, I think I suggested that last time, like last episode. It would be interesting to see that meeting. Also, man, she looks really good in that <laughs> Yukata. No, no, no. You need to stay. She can't help it all in this. She might just mess things up like usual. Well, at least it's her head this time. Yeah, I have a very hard time believing that. Milam has been missing from this series for way too long. Well, not really. You know what? I think maybe she could be doing this for Rimuru. Maybe somehow. Rimuru is being used as leverage against her, and then she decided to do this to help him, or to at least not hurt him in any way. I have a feeling that's the only re way she would do anything like this. Because I do think they're right, she probably doesn't care about anyone except for Rimuru. No. 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 Don't. No. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, please don't. Shit. Oh, what a terrible decision. Well, uh, please let him come. <laughs> let him balance out the horrible. No, please! If you're gonna leave anyone, leave Xion. She doesn't deserve to come. This frickin' sucks. Take the useless liability and leave the asset, huh? I like how she's calling him master now. <laughs> it's it's a it's a bond between manga obsessed people, I guess. He's probably read much more than her at this point. Mm, maybe. They're kind of covering up Veldora a little bit. Uh, I don't like that. Whatever advantage he has in neg negotiation, Xion's probably going to ruin it as usual. But who knows, maybe she's grown. Maybe she won't 
make him look bad anymore. kind of assumed that that's adorable <laughs> I hope he does. He does get to use Veldora like that because it. I do want to see more people's reactions to him. So are we actually going to see anything this episode? Or is it just all preparation? Milam can make written orders. So this is her country, I guess. Why wouldn't you be soft on her? She's great. He's going to burst many blood vessels all at once. Okay, here's something. This guy seems to be very loyal to Milam, but already is showing like a million times more restraint than what Shion would. So already I have like 30 times more respect for this random guy than I do for Shion. Oh, there goes this guy's arm. He probably did that so he could spare him. 
Like, if he kept going, he would probably have sliced them up some more and killed them. So, kicking him unconscious was a mercy. This bald guy is actually a pretty good character. And I'm sure that he's going to love to take revenge on this guy. The top of his head is literally glowing red. Alright, so this guy that we just met is already a better char character than, than Xion. <laughs> this is what a true loyal subordinate should act like. Oh, wow. Thought we were going to see some of that. But it's kind of skipping over this a little bit. No convincing citizens, no talking to them for the first time, telling them of the plan. Just like, oh, yeah, we're going to do this. We did it. It's done. I like how his tail has armor on it. <laughs> There's a lot of people. This is like a proper army. That is a pretty good use of 3D. I assume each one of them is more competent than she is. I like her so much. I wish she wasn't, like, a side character.
Is he going to teleport them all now? Just look at that. <laughs> That's a pretty awesome looking teleportation magic. Next episode is going to be pretty exciting, I feel. All right, so I feel this is going to be, or it was, the last final episode of just preparation for something happening, which now I'm I'm getting a little a little bit more excited for what's going to happen next because next episode, I think there's going to be a lot of very interesting things happening. So first of all, they're going to defend the people of the animal king. Well. They've, they've already been transported, but they're going to meet the, the army that was supposed to uh, invade there and then have an awesome battle, I assume. And then at the same time, we're going to go to the Walpurgis meeting of the Demon Lords and meet some interesting characters, I assume. And hopefully Milam, because, oh god, I miss Milam so much. We need some clarification there. Like I said before, though, I'm pretty sure her entire reason for doing anything of this any of this is because she's not being selfish. She's doing what she can for Rimuru, I assume. And somehow they're using Rimuru to make her do things that she wouldn't normally. So hopefully next episode things get cleared up a little bit there. And once those people get defended, Milam can go back to Rimuru's side again. Because it's about time, I think. But, um, yeah, that's it for my reaction. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.